Hello everyone, I am Mayor Tyler, assisted with Guy and Piff Zero. Hey. And we are doing the Let's Play of Mercenaries Playground of Destruction. You may have seen this from the promo. The now. The what? <laughs> the promo. <laughs> we know. You know. Don't you don't you don't you lie what to me. What promo? <laughs> anyway, we are starting we're starting this off by showing the first core missions and the beginning of the game. And then we're going to be moving forward to the most important missions and cutting around a bit. So, right now we're going to be picking our first three persons. I always pick Jacobs. I like Jacobs. But... Because he's black. Because he's American. Can't you see? <laughs> yeah, well he is American, but I just find I, I don't like her dialogue and he annoys me. So, you know what? That's because she's British and he's Asian. You're so biased. <laughs> Reports from Pyongyang indicate North Korean military forces have staged a violent coup. The Royal Australian Navy intercepted a North Korean freighter. Authorities alerted the Navy after uncovering a cache of nuclear warheads in the ship's cargo bay. The warheads were intended for sale to known terrorist elements. Troops poured across the DMZ and into North Korea, intent on dislodging the newly installed regime of General Song. The president today reaffirmed the need for this peacekeeping mission. The general posted bounties today for the latest deck of 52. All right. So that's basically introduction that there is going to be a war that we're basically going to be managing as this mercenary is working for different factions. <laughs> Could we have the lights off, please? Lights off, please. Thank you. <coughs> All right, Fiona, what have you got for us? Thanks. Okay, well, today the board is voting on the Sung Initiative. This is an unparalleled financial opportunity for Exops, but it's high risk. North Korea is a quagmire, the Allies are stuck in it, and it's all because of this man here. Yes, we've been discussing this. Couldn't this force us into a, I don't know, a moral position? I mean, the guy's evil. He capped his own father after the coup. The media are all over it. Anyone operating in this theater is going to be famous. Maybe, but we're proposing sending in a single operative, low profile. And remember, North Korea is in total chaos. There's press on the ground, sure, but our agent could level half the country and no one would have any idea we were there. Mm -hmm. There's more. Apart from the hundred million for Sung, there's a significant bounty for every member of the deck of 52, especially if they're taken alive. Uh, does that say businessmen? Well, counterfeiting, slave trading, if you call that business, these guys are businessmen. To sum up, we insert a single agent to go after the bounties. We can do something the Allies can't, work directly with factions on the ground to gather hard intel on the deck of 52. Oh, come on, Fiona. The AN have never been shy about... Dealing with the Russian Mafia? Not with GSRN reporters everywhere. Listen, by working with the factions, we can take Sung's power base apart from the bottom up. Sung's gone into hiding, but if anyone knows where he is... It's his lieutenants. Got it, got it. Fiona, you make a compelling case. I think I know which way the board will go, but I have one more question. We're basically relying on a single agent here. Do you have someone in mind? Yes, I do. I believe I have the perfect candidate. We are going to take down everyone with one man. With one man. With one man. His name's Christopher. Christopher Jacobs. All right. So what's going on right now is after we've been, de we've been debriefed of what's going on, we're going and dropping into the demilitarized zone via... Literally, we're getting into a jammer and we're going to drop out of it. Really? Yep. Hey, Chris, do you read me? Wake up. Just rest in my eyes. What's our ETA? You're about 10 minutes from the DMZ drop zone. Damn, they were gonna bump me up to first class. Listen, we're close. You might want to get your gear together for the drop. Oh shit, that's a glowing circle. You checked out your new PDA yet? A little bit. Seems nicer than the one we had in Libya. Hope it's more durable. We know you'll treat this machine a lot better. I'll do my best. Slap. I yeah. heard that. If you can stop abusing it for a minute, I want to test our uplink. I'm tapped into every satellite feed I can get my hands on. That means when I send you a blip on your PDA, you check it out. This thing play MP3s? Of course. Really? No. That's, okay, this is the introduction to all our basic equipment. The PDA is basically our source to everything. 
Um, it allows us to order weapons and cars and vehicles, stay in contact, look at the map, all that stuff. It's our main menu. M67. Standard issue frag grenades. Should get me started. There's no pin in this. Ah! That'd be terrible. Oh, God. Did you just take that pin out? Yes. Now pay attention to me. I know it's not state of the art. Never let me down before. Not my favorite weapon, but it's good. This is Blackbird, DMZ's in visual range. The drop zone is hot. We'll be coming in low and fast. You heard the man. Time to get going. Chris, you ready? Yeah. You know they say the DMZ is the most dangerous place on Earth. You worried about me, Fiona? <laughs> I'm worried about our payday. A hundred million dollars. You think you could spend that much money in one lifetime? Trust me, I'll die trying. Ready to go for a ride? Say at the top. Oh, it said, uh, oh, officers? Okay. In this game, there's officers with a little icon above them. I'm gonna fight these guys. Might as well. Damn, the North Korean stage an assault on the LIDHQ. That's the helicopter. I'm hearing reports ah, shit, shit. Looks like it just in time to be a hero. Does that always happen? Get the LIDHQ soldiers into a... Uh, it always breaks down, because it always starts out damaged. The, um, no, okay. the, the helicopter. Holy yeah. Well, it didn't fall in the same spot. You we weren't over there. Okay. Well, let me, um... I should have explained some concepts. Every time you blow up a North Korean vehicle of any type, you get paid automatically. So you see this one right here? Do I see four? Yes, I do. I'm going to show you one of my favorite things to do. Jeep bombing. Let me pull my car away so it doesn't get destroyed. It is C4. Clear. <laughs> yeah, the car. <laughs> oh god, they're gonna die. Oh well. Ready? I love that. that seemed I just got six. I just got six thousand dollars for blowing up a jeep. It seems cartoon like. You're cartoon like. I'm pretty sure that's not how physics work. <laughs> C4. See, look at that. What the, that's a wheel. I know, but I think you're breaking laws of physics now. Beep beep. I'm a jeep. <laughs> Everybody get in. It's Clear. a party. I normally never bring soldiers with me because they just die and they never cover anything, but just for the sake of it, I'll bring them along. They can die. Oh, okay, you see how they have those little icons above their head? Those are officers. They can see through disguises and vehicles, so I can't be disguised as another faction as long as they're around. Yeah. Oh. See? So you can disguise as civilians, but if an officer sees you, they will shoot you immediately. Are like all officers around here? Just in this first area. Head north to the no, LIHQ. Garrett is expecting you. It would be kind of difficult. Blowing up. Yeah, that doesn't work. It'd be a. Anyway, ah! What the fuck? I forgot how this place is set up. In the place. Ah! Ah! Okay. Vehicles. Hi, guys. Agile. Okay, right there on the top screen, you'll see I just got an Agile. Um, Allied casualty. Yeah, and you lost I... all your money, too. Yes, it did. I'm now negative. 